Hello everyone, welcome to Tutitude. Now you will see the EMF questions. So first question is related to Coulomb's law. A set of four point charges of three micro coulomb. So same amount of charge they have taken four times. Four point charges we have to take of three micro coulombs are placed at one comma one comma zero, minus one comma one comma zero, minus one comma minus one comma zero, one comma minus one comma zero. Okay, that is nothing but what you what you can able to understand from this one. In all these points, z coordinate is zero. That means all these points are available on the x y plane. Okay. Next, in a space with relative permittivity of uh, two, that is nothing but they have given epsilon r. Okay. Calculate the resultant electric field at one comma one comma one. So at this particular point, we have to calculate the electric field. But it is having the three coordinates. That means it is in the space. Okay, it is in the space, but these four points are available on the x-y plane. So how the graph we can uh, we can able to take? How the representation of all these things we can able to take in the sense? For example, if I take the coordinates like this, this is x-axis, this is y-axis, and z-axis is coming out of the board. So that one we are showing like this. This is the z-axis. Okay, actually it is coming out of the board. X axis, Y axis, Z axis is coming out of the board. This board has been created because of the changes in the X and Y. Okay, then uh, first I will represent 1 comma 1 comma 0. So on X axis 1, Y axis 1, uh, X negative minus 1, Y negative minus 1. Okay, this point is representing both are positive, X is positive, Y is positive. So this point is representing 1 comma 1 comma 0. And this point is representing x is negative that means minus 1 comma 1 comma 0 and this point is representing uh, x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is negative so minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 0 and this point is representing x is positive but y is negative and z is 0 okay so in this way we have the four points now and at these uh, four points we have the four charges uh, of three micro coulombs okay so here we have uh, three micro coulomb here also we have three micro coulomb and here also we have three micro coulomb, three micro coulomb. Okay, so because of these four charges, we need to calculate the electric field at the point, at the field point one comma one comma one. That point is available. Uh, one comma one is nothing but where here. Okay, one comma one comma zero is nothing but this one. And z axis is coming out of the board. So one comma one is this one. Z is also one means here. The point is here. Okay, so at this particular point, we have to calculate the this particular electric field okay so we have to calculate the electric field so for example if you take electric field due to a single point charge okay e bar is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon q by magnitude of r square into r cap this is a general formula okay this is the formula for the electric field calculation due to the point charge q okay at some distance okay at some distant point from that point Wherever this particular charge Q is available, the distance vector if you draw that is R bar. For that R bar, the unit vector is R cap and the magnitude of R we have to use as a square of the distance in the formula. Okay. And Q is nothing but they have given three micro columns. But here we don't have single pine charge. We have four pine charges. And all these vectors are following or the Coulomb's law is following the linearity property. So, you can calculate the electric field due to this particular pine charge, second one, this is the first, first calculation, the electric field due to this pine charge, the electric field due to this pine charge, the electric field due to this pine charge. So, electric fields, four electric fields we have to calculate due to these four charges, all those four electric fields should be added to get the electric field at 1 comma 1 comma 1 due to these four charges. Okay, we can add to get the total electric field at 1 comma 1 comma 1 due to these four uh, charges we can able to add the individual electric fields. Okay, that is called superposition principle or the linearity property. Okay, that is the thing we have to apply here. So that what we will get, how to calculate means according to this formula, if you see what is required for us, since they have given the relative permittivity, this epsilon should be taken as epsilon naught into epsilon r. So this epsilon r value they have given as 2, that one we have to remember. And in all the cases, Q is equal to 3 micro coulombs only. Next, R is to be calculated. So in all these calculations, what is important in the sense calculation of R? 
okay that one you have to be very carefully you have to calculate so calculation of r i am going to take in the next slide so see carefully so the, here i am going to take so calculation of r generally taken like this field point minus source point or observation point minus source point this is the thing we have to follow so where we are finding the electric field at 1 comma 1 comma 1 at 1 comma 1 comma 1 and our charges our source charges are available at four different places okay in the first quadrant we have that is 1 comma 1 comma 0 okay this is for the first charge available in the first quadrant which is available at 1 comma 1 comma 0 similarly the field point is not changing at the same point we are calculating the field due to all the four charges that means the observation point or the field point is same that is at 1 comma 1 comma 1 minus if you take the point in the second quadrant x is negative y is positive z is 0 and it is equal to uh, again due to the third one means 1 comma 1 comma 1 minus what is the charge available in the third quadrant that is x is negative y is negative and z is 0 it is equal to 1 comma 1 comma 1 due to the uh, fourth charge I'm calculating x is positive y is negative and z is 0 so four r bar vectors we are going to get okay these four r bar vectors should be used in four electric field vectors so it is equal to what we'll get 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 and 1 minus 0 is 1 that means only z component we will get it is equal to 1 minus half minus 1 that means 2 x cap next 1 minus 1 that means there is no y cap and 1 minus 0 that is z cap next it is equal to 1 mi 1 minus of minus 1 that is 2 into x cap 1 minus of minus 1 that is 2 into y cap next 1 minus 0 that is 1 into z cap so this is what we got for the third one and it is equal to 1 minus 1 0 so 1 minus of minus 1 that means x component is 0 but y component is z that is 2 times of y cap next 1 minus 0 that is z cap so in this way we got four r bar vectors okay magnitude also is required to be calculated so that from this one magnitude of r is equal to 1 because it is unit vector and from this one magnitude of r is equal to square root of 2 square plus 1 square that is root 5 root 5 will get and from this one we can tell magnitude is equal to square root of 2 square is 4 plus 2 square is 4 plus 1 square is 1 that means root 9 root 9 is nothing but we will get magnitude is equal to 3 and from this one magnitude of r is equal to root of 2 square plus 1 that is root 5 okay so it is required to be calculated what are the r bar vectors are there and their magnitudes also okay next i am calculating the electric field now so electric field is equal to what is the formula already i have written in the previous slide that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon q by magnitude of r r square and r cap okay if you can able to write that r cap in the normal vector then in the numerator we will get r bar in the denominator we will get magnitude of r already magnitude of r square is there so it can be rewritten as like this so see see here carefully so e bar is equal to we can write q by 4 pi epsilon here magnitude of r cube you will get and here r bar when you write here r bar cube will come in the denominator okay but when you write here unit vector here square will come that is what you need to be take care and this formula i am going to apply for all those four charges to get the electric field at 1 comma 1 comma 1 okay so i am doing that one so everywhere q is constant and everywhere 4 pi epsilon is constant and remaining things will be changed so r bar by magnitude of r cube will be changed for point to point okay but q by 4 pi epsilon is constant so that q is 3 micro that q is 3 micro by 4 pi epsilon is there this 4 pi epsilon if you see 4 pi epsilon naught into epsilon r we know that this 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is nothing but 9 into 10 power 9 okay so that is what i am using here so 9 into 10 power 9 that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught by how much is there now epsilon r and they have given that epsilon r is equal to 2 okay this is for q by 4 pi epsilon this particular calculation is nothing but this one but this is available in all the four calculations that's why i can take that is common and now for the first charge what i need to write r bar by magnitude of r cube so r bar is nothing but simply z cap by magnitude is 1 plus second one second one is 2x cap plus z cap by magnitude of r cube magnitude of r itself is root 5 for that one cube means 5 root 5 we will get 5 root 5 plus uh, third one 2x cap plus 2y cap plus z cap by what we have here 3 that means 3 cube is nothing but 27 plus last one is 2y cap plus z cap 
by again root 5 that means 5 root 5. So this is this is the calculation we have to perform. But without calculating this one first we will check the options now. So if you see the options here in the first two options we have negative components x is negative x component is negative y component is negative. And in the second option also, x component and y component are negative. But if you see here, uh, in, the, in this calculation, we don't have any negative component. Okay, all are positive. So if you calculate, you will get x component is positive, y component is positive, and z component is positive. So option 1 and 2, we can able to remove. This is wrong, this is wrong. Okay, and if you see option 3 and 4, okay, here all are positive, okay. And if you observe the x component and y component, these two are of same magnitude x component uh, is 3.41 here also 3.41 but in the fourth fourth calculation also they have given x component is 16.4 and a y component is 16.4 so there is no use to calculate x component and y component because if you calculate x component surely you have to calculate y component instead of doing this one if you calculate the z component it is different so in option 3 and 4 we can able to select the correct option by calculating this particular z component okay so z component if you concentrate now in the next slide so what we have here 1 is there 1 plus 1 by 5 root 5 from this one i have taken only z component plus here z component is 1 by 27 plus 1 by 5 root 5 okay so this is the value we are we are getting as the z component here z cap will be there and this is multiplied with this entire part if you do this calculation, you will get this one, 16.4. So option 3 is the correct option. So in this way, you can able to solve the question related to the Coulomb's law. Okay. Now, we will see the next question. The question is related to coaxial cable. Consider a coaxial cable having the inner radius is equal to 0 0.8 mm. This is the inner radius. And outer radius is 4 mm. And filled with a, a material having the relative permeability that means uh, mu mu r they have given relative permeability the self inductance will be so this can be done by using the formula l is equal to mu naught l by 2 pi ln of b by a okay since they have given the relative permeability we have to use here mu r also okay mu l by 2 pi so mu can be written as mu r into mu naught so they have given mu r also so it is equal to, so mu r is nothing but, they have given clearly that is 50 multiplied with, mu naught is nothing but we know 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 Henry's per meter, that is mu naught value by 2 pi is there and did they give L value? No. So I am writing here L only. Next, ln of, what is there here? B by A. B value they have given, outer radius value is 4 mm and inner radius value is 0.8. That means 4 by 0.8 4 by 0.8 we have to take okay then it is equal to so here 2 pi if you multiply with 2 you will get 4 pi so it is 100 100 means here 10 power 7 is there minus 7 is there so 10 power minus 5 into l is there and here logger them off what we have here it will go to the numerator and here we will get a 8 5 is a 40 so l of 5 so this calculation you have to do if you perform this calculation, you will get one number, but beside that you will get L also. They did not give L, but if you see the options, they have given micro Henry's, we have to calculate the inductance. So they have given micro Henry's, micro Henry per meter, micro Henry's, micro Henry per meter. So by seeing the options, we can able to get idea that that is nothing but we no need to calculate the self inductance. We have to calculate the self inductance per meter. That means you send this L to the left side. So here inductance is there. So per length, if you calculate, so it is equal to ln of 5 and multiplied by 10 power minus 5. Okay. So we can able to convert this one into the micro also. So that what is the correct option means if you calculate this one, you will get 16.1. That is what you can able to do. Okay. So if you know this formula, you can able to calculate this particular thing very easily. Next, calculate the amount of pine charge at the origin. So we have to calculate the pine charge value. If you consider that is Q, that Q value we have to calculate, which is available at origin. Okay, directly they are giving the location of the Q that is at 0, 0, 0. So 0, 0, 0. Okay, uh, the potential at minus 2, comma, 3, comma, 1 is 36 volts. So they have given the potential at some other point due to this particular charge and with reference to at infinity. Okay, that means with respect to ground. 
okay from the infinity distance the charge has been brought into the vicinity of some electric field that is called work done from the work done only if you divide that work done with the charge you will get the potential so according to that particular concept we are bringing the charge from the infinity is nothing but that potential has been calculated with respect to ground so that the potential formula with respect to the point charge is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught okay in the free space means epsilon naught we have to take and here q by magnitude of r that's it it is a scalar we should not write here r bar okay it is scalar electric potential that means scalar is nothing but it is having some uh, magnitude only there is no direction for this particular thing and we have to calculate q value they have given voltage is 36 that is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon is nothing but 9 into 10 power 9 this one also we are familiar with this one epsilon naught is the free space permittivity that is a 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 if you calculate 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught you will get 9 into 10 power 9 okay and charge q we have to calculate by r r is nothing but how much the distance in between the origin and this particular point okay it origin charge is there and we the potential 36 is available at minus 2 comma 3 comma 1 so here potential is there so it is the uh, it is the observation point minus source point we have to perform so this itself is a, a r bar so r bar is nothing but 2 comma sorry minus 2 comma 3 comma 1 minus 0 comma 0 comma 0 that is nothing but again we will get minus 2 comma 3 comma 1 only but we need magnitude only so if you calculate that one 4 plus 9 plus 1 that is root 14 this is what we will get okay and here easily you can able to calculate here 9 ones are 9 fours are so q is equal to 4 root 14 if you send this one this side that will become 10 power uh, minus 9 that is nothing but nano coulomb so 4 root 14 nano coulombs you are going to get if you calculate this one you will get uh, if it is 16 4 will be there 4 is nothing but answer is 16 if it is a 9 okay 3 will be there that is nothing but uh, 4 3 is a 12 so option is this one okay 15 nano coulombs is the option that is what you can able to do with this particular question next next question calculate the magnetic field intensity h at uh, 0 0.4 comma 0 0.3 comma 0 okay so at this particular point we need to calculate the h bar due to 8 amps filamentary current which is directed from directed from outward from origin to the infinity along the positive x axis and inward from the infinity to the origin along the positive y axis okay so if you see the structure you can able to understand easily okay this particular graphical representation so x axis is coming out of the board that one we are showing like this and it is the y axis that is z axis that means this plane is nothing but y z plane okay so 8 amps is coming from positive y axis towards 0 that means on the positive y axis from infinity distance towards the origin the 8 amps current is coming so it is semi infinite line okay semi infinite uh, con conducting filament okay that is what we have to observe here next uh, that same current is, uh, is flowing from origin to up to the infinity on the positive x axis so it is also semi infinite line only okay so in this manner the current is flowing okay what we need to do because of these two currents we need to calculate h bar at 0 0.4 comma 0 0.3 comma 0 so here z coordinate is 0 that means this point is available in the x y plane this point is available in the x y plane and the currents are also available on the x axis and y axis listen carefully this particular problem is somewhat difficult compared to the remaining problems so you have to concentrate more so what we have to calculate h bar at what point 0 0.4 comma 0 0.3 comma 0 that means this point is available on the x y plane because z is equal to 0 and the currents are also available on the positive x axis and positive y axis so no need to represent z axis in our diagram so if you redraw the diagram what we will get in the sense like this so i am taking like this so it is my x axis it is my y axis okay so from origin towards positive x axis the current 8 amps is flowing and from infinity towards origin current 8 amps is flowing and here origin is there and point is 0 0.4 comma 0 0.3 comma 0 so the point is available on the x y plane so this diagram is enough okay this diagram is enough for us to on, to calculate the h bar at 0 0.4 comma 0 0.3 comma 0 okay so this distance is 0 0.4 this distance is 0 
and this is 0.4 and this is 0.3 only and here one diagonal is also required so we'll draw that one and what is the value of the diagonal it is 4 it is 3 means it is 5 that is 0.5 okay these are the things that are required first i will explain uh, how to calculate the h bar due to the semi infinite line okay or infinite line or the finite line okay so these things are required to be known to to calculate the h bar due to these particular conductors okay so we'll see here first so see carefully it is x axis it is y axis it is z axis it is for reference only not related to this particular problem if you understand this one we can able to solve this particular problem very easily so see carefully here conductor is there through this one current i is flowing your observation point you have taken below of this one for example here rho comma phi comma z is there okay so this is the conductor this is a lower end, lower end of the conductor it is upper end of the conductor lower end of the conductor upper end of the conductor here you have the observation point here you need to calculate the h bar okay so in the derivation you will be having like this this lower end should be connected to this particular field point upper end is also connected to this field point and we have to draw one perpendicular from the observation point to this particular z axis so this is a perpendicular it is making 90 degrees with the z axis and the angle in between this perpendicular and the line which is joining the observation point and the lower end is called alpha 1 and the angle which is joining okay the, sorry the angle which is in between this perpendicular and the line which is joining the observation point and the uh, top edge of the this particular conductor is alpha 2 okay then the h bar is given by h bar is given by i by 4 pi rho sin alpha 2 minus sin alpha 1 into here we can able to take afa cap in this particular case it is afa cap okay so in this manner we can able to do now instead of taking this observation point below the conductor conductor place is same but i am placing this or i am observing i am calculating the h bar not here i am calculating at some other point but that is above of this particular conductor okay so if i draw the diagram again conductor position is same and current is flowing through this one my point is here now p of rho comma phi comma z so again the concept is same one perpendicular line we have to draw this is the upper edge is connected to this one lower edge is connected to this one lower edge is making alpha 1 upper edge is making alpha 2 if you calculate the h bar here you are going to get like this i by 4 pi rho sin alpha 1 minus sin alpha 2 here a phi cap what is the what is the change you are observing here here observation point is below the conductor here observation point is above the conductor okay then if you see the formula what we have here i by 2 pi rho 4 pi rho is common but here sin alpha 2 minus sin alpha 1 is coming here sin alpha 1 minus sin alpha 2 is coming okay how we are getting this one what is the difference in between these two so you observe here carefully one important point i am going to tell now here both ends of the conductor okay lower end and upper end both are above the this particular observation point whenever this lower end is coming below the observation point the angle made by that one is alpha 1 will become negative okay when this is also coming downside that means entire this conductor if you bring below this particular observation point then the angles will become negative so alpha 1 will become negative and alpha 2 is also becoming negative when alpha 2 is becoming negative minus sin alpha 2 we will get when alpha 1 is becoming negative plus sin alpha 1 we will get so we will get this formula and diagram will be modified like this okay so once again once again i'm repeating that one when you bring this conductor completely below this particular point that is nothing but lower end and upper end both are coming below this particular point then this diagram will come then this formula will come how the formula is is coming like this the angles will become negated okay so that alpha is becoming alpha 1 is becoming negative means we will get here already negative is there so sin alpha 1 minus sin alpha 2 will get okay then it is not the case with us it is also not the case with us what is the case with us in the sense now you see here carefully this is a conductor 
Our observation point is not completely below the conductor like this. Our observation point is not completely above the conductor like this. Observation point is there here. Okay. So, in the range where this particular conductor is available, that is what you can able to see in the diagram. Throughout the x-axis from 0 to infinity, the current is passing. So, here the observation point is there. So, observation point is not this side completely, not this side completely. Actually, it is up to infinity. So, observation point is there in parallel with this particular conductor, like this. Your conductor is there beside that the observation point is there, not below, not above. And if you consider this conductor also, from 0 to infinity or from the infinity distance to 0, the current is passing. So, the point is here. That is nothing but in alignment to this one, in parallel with this particular conductor only, the observation point is there. So, the formula is not suitable here and the, this formula is also not suitable here. So, what to do? That is nothing but we have brought this particular point here. So, we can able to think like this. Okay. Anyway, with respect to this point, these both ends of the conductor are above. Okay, listen carefully now. The conclusion I am going to give here, which formula is suitable for this particular problem, that one I am going to give. Okay. So, see carefully. The both ends of this particular conductor are above this particular point. Okay. If you bring this point up to here, then this particular case will come. So, the lower end is below the point, but upper end is above the point only. Okay, upper end is above the point only. Because of the upper end, sin alpha 2 will come. So, there is no change in the sin alpha 2. That is nothing but, for this particular case, h bar is equal to i by 4 pi rho, we will get here sin alpha 2. So, there is no change in the upper end. That's why sin alpha 2 will be as it is. But, there is a change in the lower end. Now, lower end is below the observation point. That's why the angle will become negated. So, this minus sin alpha 1 will become plus sin alpha 1. So, this is what we have to apply. Okay, this formula is suitable for in this particular case. So, i by 4 pi rho sin alpha 2 plus sin alpha 1 into a phi cap. So, if you use this one, you will get the answer. Okay, now we will do that one. So, here i is nothing but i terms only 4 pi rho. Rho is the perpendicular distance in between the observation point and the conductor. So, if you consider this conductor, the perpendicular distance is 0 0.3. If you consider this conductor, the perpendicular distance is 0 0.4. Okay, that is the row value. Next is sin alpha 2 value and sin alpha 1 value we have to calculate. Okay, so here I am going to uh, calculate that one. So, see carefully, due to the conductor on the x-axis, just I am representing with x. Due to the conductor on the y-axis, I am representing with y. Okay, so what are the requir requirements here? i by 4 pi rho sin alpha 2 sin alpha 1. So, uh, this this is a point which is making alpha 1 angle with this end and it is making alpha 2 angle with this end but it is up to infinity whenever it is up to infinity what is the angle it is making in the sense 90 degrees okay so we can able to take here alpha 2 is equal to 90 degrees and alpha 1 that means directly sin alpha 1 I am calculating sin alpha 1 is nothing but opposite side that is 0 0.4 by and hypotenuse is nothing but 0 0.5 so, we have sin alpha 2. What is the sin alpha 2? Because here alpha 2 is 90, that is 1. And sin alpha 1 is 4 by 5. So, we got these two. And i is 8 by 4 pi. Rho is nothing but 0.3. Everything we got. But what is the angle? Angle is given by dl bar cap r, r bar. Okay. So, dl bar is nothing but in which direction current is passing? That is plus x multiplied with what is the r bar? So, observation minus source, here also 0 0.4 is there, x components are cancelled. So, observation minus source is nothing but a, 0.3 is coming. That is nothing but y component is there. So, y component. So, x cap uh, cross y cap is nothing but z cap. So, here h bar will be available in the z cap direction. So, you can able to calculate this one now. So, finally, what I am writing is here, h bar due to the current passing through the h direction in the x direction i am representing with the hx bar so that is equal to i by that is 8 by 4 pi rho is 0.3 perpendicular distance is 0.3 sin alpha 1 1 okay sin alpha sorry sin alpha 2 is 1 and sin alpha 1 is 4 by 5 and direction we got z direction this is the calculation this is the magnitude of the sorry this is the magnetic field intensity due to this particular current which is flowing in the positive x direction from the origin 
up to infinity at this particular point. Similarly, we have to calculate due to this current how much amount of magnetic field intensity is available. So similarly, now this is a uh, this is a perpendicular to this line and this is a alpha 1 and alpha 2 is again 90. So sin alpha 2 is equal to 1 because alpha 2 is 90 and sin alpha 1 is equal to this distance is okay opposite sign is 0.3 okay next uh, hypotenuse is again 0.5 that is nothing but 3 by 5 we will get similarly you can able to calculate hy also that is nothing but magnetic field intensity due to the current flowing in the y axis so that is that is what i am representing with the hy bar that is i by 4 pi rho i is nothing but 8 4 pi perpendicular distance is now 0.4 and uh, 1 plus 3 by 5 into z cap here also you are going to get z cap only you can check that one so you need to add these two Okay, you need to add these two. So surely you will get in the past two z direction only. So what will be the answer is? So answer is uh, 6.37 z cap because it is a h bar amperes per meter. This is what you get. Okay. So you try to practice many problems by using this particular uh, uh, amperes law. Okay. Actually, it is related to this uh, h bar magnitude of the which were re related to Biot's hours law or whatever it may be. Okay. Actually, Biot's hours law can be taken as the Ampere's law for the differential element. Okay. Next. Now, one more problem we will see. Consider three infinite uniform charge sheets located in a free space as follows. Three nanocoulombs per meter square. One more thing is six nanocoulombs per meter square. And next one is minus eight nanocoulombs per meter square, which are available at z is equal to minus two and z is equal to 0 0.5 and z is equal to four. Okay, three sheets they have given with three charge densities, surface charge densities. The electric field at 2, 5, minus 5 we have to calculate. So, I am taking this particular line. I am representing first uh, plane is this one. Second plane is this one. And third plane is this one. Three planes are there. And the first plane is available at minus 2, 0 0.54. Okay. First plane is available at z is equal to minus 2. Second plane is available at z is equal to uh, 0 0.5. And the third plane is available at z is equal to 4. Where we have to calculate the magnetic field, sorry, electric field, that is 2, 5, comma, minus 5. What is the meaning of this one? It is z is equal to minus 2. That means here z is equal to 0 0.5 is there. So somewhere here z is equal to 0. That means origin is available. So it is a negative z value. So it is a negative z value. z is equal to constant is nothing but where x and y values are changing. Okay. Z is, actually z is equal to 0 plane is nothing but x, y plane. That plane has been created because of the changes in the x values and y values. So here we have z is equal to minus 2. Okay. Here we have z is equal to minus 2. That is nothing but x values and y values are changing. Next here z is equal to uh, 0.5 here z is equal to 4 like this we have so where is this particular point 2 comma 5 comma minus 5 here z values are negatively increasing here z values are positively increasing here z is z value is minus 5 so this particular point is available left side to this one only because z is equal to minus 2 he is here we have we need point here that is uh, 2 comma 5 comma minus 5 because z is equal to minus 5 surely this point is available left to all these planes okay that is that is compulsory. So that we have taken like this. Next, at z is equal to minus 2, order the plane is available. That is having the charge density 3 nanocoulombs per meter square. And second plane is having, that is a 6 nanocoulombs per meter square. And third plane is having minus 8 nanocoulombs per meter square. Okay, in this way we have the charge densities. So we know that positive charge is radiating outside. Okay, that is having the divergence nature and negative charge is having converging nature. So, with respect to this point, we have to calculate the electric field direction now. So, it is having, it is available at z is equal to minus 2, but its charge is positive. Okay, its charge density is the positive charge density. That is nothing but from this sheet, all the flux lines are going outside. Okay, all the flux lines are going outside. So, this is a concept we should have. And this plane... At, uh, z is equal to 0 point is 0 point 0.5 is also having the positive charge density. So it is also diverging outside. Okay, it is also diverging outside. And it is a negative, that means a converging inside. It is converging like this. Okay, so with respect to this one, at this particular point, what are the effects I am going to draw here? So at this particular point, due to the first one, the direction is this side. Okay, because it is left side, so we have the field, uh, field lines are like this. Next, because of this one also like this only. And because of this one, the direction is this side. 
okay this is what we have to remember so it is negative x direction sorry negative z direction negative z direction it is the positive z direction so because of all these things how the electric field is changing actual electric field due to the infinite sheet is given by rho s by 2 epsilon a n cap okay so here direction is important everyone can calculate the magnitude but direction is important okay due to first one what will happen we'll see so rho s is nothing but here 3 nano so 3 nano by 2 epsilon rho s by 2 epsilon and what is the direction it is in the direction of the minus z so here minus z cap this is nothing but the electric field intensity due to this particular sheet at this particular point first one is over now due to this one we have to calculate plus okay superposition theorem again plus uh, what is the uh, this uh, surface charge density 6 nano 6 nano by that is rho s and 2 epsilon what is the direction here minus z only already i have given here next plus due to the third one okay due to the third one what is the rho s here 8 nano by what we have here uh, 2 epsilon here direction is plus z direction this is what we have to remember okay now it is equal to we can take here uh, everything is common so uh, 1 nano by 2 epsilon uh, z cap also if you take common here you have minus 3 here you have minus 6 here you have 8 so it is nothing but uh, what we have here minus 9 plus 8 that is minus 1 so it is equal to minus 1 uh, nano z cube z cap by here 2 epsilon okay so that is what you have to calculate here so if you calculate you will get uh, some number that is equal to minus some value uh, into z cap that means in the minus z direction we will be having so if you check the options so two options are having the minus z direction okay uh, minus z direction and if you calculate the magnitude of this particular thing you will get the correct option and they have given 56.5 5.65 so answer is 56.5 okay here people will confuse at one particular place that is here we have minus 8 nano coulombs but here i have substituted plus 8 only what is the reason for that one the uh, what we can able to tell because of this one the effect of this minus already we have considered in the direction itself okay the effect of this minus already we have considered in the direction itself only so two times we will not apply only one time we will apply so that only magnitude taking magnitude is enough next consider a coaxial capacitor having the inner radius that is 0 0.1045 and outer radius that is 0 0.68 having a length of 0 0.3048 Ass uh, assume the dielectric to be L. okay uh, the capacitance is so we have to calculate the capacitance of the coaxial uh, capacitor that is c is equal to 2 pi epsilon l by ln of outer radius is b and inner radius is a this is the formula okay everything is there we have to substitute whatever the answer we are getting that will be the uh, correct option okay so simply substitution i will take here so 2 pi epsilon because a they have given we can take 2 pi epsilon naught and l is also they have given that is 0 0.3048 meters by ln of b is nothing but outer radius is 0 0.68 by inner radius is 0 0.1045 so this calculation we can able to do using calculator so we will get the option that is 9.05 picofarads that is the option okay next one consider an infinite uniform line charge of 5 nano coulombs per meter so the question is related to infinite line charge okay and it is having rho l is equal to line charge density is equal to 5 nano coulombs per meter so rho l is equal to 5 nano coulombs per meter along the x axis so along the x axis for example x axis is this one on this one infinite line charge we are taking with rho l is equal to 5 nano coulombs per meter this is what they have given in the free space only uh, next to calculate the electric field intensity at a distance of 2 meters from the line charge along the z direction okay along the z axis for example this is the z direction 2 meters distance so we will take 2 meters here for example we got this particular point after traveling 2 meters so along the z direction we have to calculate so along the z direction is nothing but perpendicular direction is z direction only so we can take a rho cap is equal to a z direction radially outside okay clearly they have given along the z, z axis that is nothing but uh, a rho is equal to a z cap so what is the formula for the electric field they asked us to calculate the electric field only so electric field is equal to the, for the infinite line charge rho l by 2 pi rho epsilon a rho cap 
So it is equal to rho L they have given phi nano by 2 pi. Rho is the perpendicular distance that also they have given within the question itself. And epsilon is epsilon not only because this is there in the air. Okay, without giving that one we can able to take. And they have given here free space. So that epsilon naught is enough. So A rho cap is nothing but AZ cap. So this calculation we have to do. Okay. So this is what we have to calculate. Uh, again, uh, for example, this is 4 pi epsilon naught only. 2 pi into 2. So phi nano 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught can be written as 9 into 10 power 9 uh, into AZ cap. So nano and 10 power 9 will be cancelled. It is 45. So 45 is the option. Okay, that means uh, pi, uh, option 4 is the correct option within the Z cap direction. Next, an infinitely long current filament carrying 28.1 amps, amps of current in the positive Z direction. Okay, the magnetic field intensity H at root 20, 0, 4. Okay, it is related to again uh, infinitely long current filament only. So, current is given by 28.1 and H bar is nothing, H bar we have to calculate at uh, this point, root 20, 0, 4. So, since it is traveling in the Z direction, we can able to take like this. This is the Z direction. Current is 28.1 uh, amps. We have to calculate this particular thing at uh, observation point is root 20, 0, 4. Okay. Uh, for example, the here differential element is there. It is observation point. We have to calculate the R bar. So this particular differential element is given by 0, x coordinate is 0, y will be available. Uh, comma z is, z, some z is also available. Okay. So, r bar we have to calculate. r bar is the observation minus source. So, root 20 comma this one. That means root 20 into x cap. Next, 0 comma y. That is y into y cap plus uh, 4 minus z, z cap. Okay. In this manner we will get. Okay. Then, uh, what is the dl bar? dl bar is equal to, we will get in the positive z direction that is Z dz az cap. What we need dl bar cross r bar. Okay, just in order to have the direction of the h field, I am doing all these things. So, dl bar is nothing but z cap. Okay, in cross product with r bar is having, the x component it is having and uh, y component it is having and z component also it is having. Okay, so, but what is required here? Okay, what is required? Perpendicular distance you can able to take. So, if you take the perpendicular distance, you will be having only this x cap direction. Okay, x cap direction. So, if you have this one, we will be having the y cap direction. Okay, z bar, z cap cross x cap is nothing but y cap direction. But if you see the options, all are having y caps only. Okay, all are in the y cap direction only. Now, you can able to go for the formula to calculate the magnitude of h bar. That is i by, because it is a infinite line charge, i by 2 pi rho a y cap. Okay, this thing you have to calculate. So, i they have given 28.1 and 2 pi rho is the perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance we can able to calculate from this one. It is the z, it is z, z axis and we have the point here. So, what is the, what is the, uh, this perpendicular distance that is what we have to calculate and we need to substitute here. You will get the option that is uh, 1 y cap we will get. Okay.